Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is uh, up uh, 48. NASDAQ is down 9. S&Ps are up uh, 350. You want volatility, folks? We have it in spades. And right now, we have our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney, the president of EverBank World Markets. Now, folks, you can come over to everbank.com. Go to everbank.com because we're going to walk you through as you're at everbank.com. We're going to bring you into the aspect of the foreign currency accounts. Chris Gaffney, welcome back to TFNN. It's always a pleasure in another, uh, boy, you, you said it, a volatile start to 2016, isn't it? Is it an amazing man? It's just, you know, Chris, this morning, uh, my son and I, we, we do a 10 o'clock in the morning show. And, you know, we had folks calling in, you know, of course, we get a lot of people that, you know, in, in the gold market and the currency market in general. And we were talking about the Rand dollar and the Canadian dollar. And, you know, uh, the aspect, the weakness in those currencies are pretty amazing. And what ended up happening is that I saw General Mills, they're going to float a euro bond. And I, I was looking back, I said, this is amazing. You know, a couple of years ago, everyone in Europe were, were floating dollar bonds. Now they're, right. now they're getting toasted on, you know, because of course that, that went down. And I said, what a great time to talk about the different currency accounts that Everbank has and how they work. Absolutely. Well, with, you know, the commodity, uh, the commodity hit that uh, the commodity currencies have taken, um, you know, the dollar's been strong. We're, we're coming off of about four years of dollar strength, uh, three to four years of dollar strength. And, and the question is, you know, it, it could get stronger still, but, um, you know, we're approaching those levels where you start thinking something's got to change, something's got to give. And uh, uh, the accounts that we developed here at Everbank really give individual investors the opportunity to invest into the foreign currencies through an FDIC insured uh, instrument. Um, the FDIC insures against bank failure. So, um, you know, you're, you're, you're getting into the foreign currencies. Now, they are going to fluctuate up and down with value, but you're doing it in an FDIC insured bank account. Which is really cool, you know, because, of course, that is crucial to understand, uh, you know, that basically it's insured. The, can you walk us through, so we, we have a huge amount of Canadian listeners, of course, right? And, and what has happened there, I mean, it's pretty amazing, you know, just inside the Canadian dollar, um, you know, whether folks are coming to the United States, we, what we were talking about this morning is that, hey, listen, um, <laughs> it would be a decent time maybe next summer to go take a safari to South Africa, right? Now, do you guys, do you guys have RAND accounts, too? Yeah, we sure do. We have South African RAND accounts. Wow. It's, it's one of, uh, one of our, our most popular uh, basket CDs combines Canada, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. I uh, see. It's called the Commodity Basket. Okay. And, uh, you know, the, you talk about some downtrodden currencies uh, between the commodities. Or, or we have another one called the BRICS basket, which of course is uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And, and again, um, you know, those baskets are down dramatically. So, uh, if you're looking for something that you know maybe has some value as a potential upside, um, you know, you, you could look at some of those kind of a contrarian play, but. Uh, more of a value play, really, at this point. That's what it seems like. And, you know, we were talking the aspect, let's, you know, let's say that you're taking a vacation and you're going to go spend 10 or 20 grand. You know, maybe they'll get weaker, but it's a great way to lock it in that you know what your vacation costs, right? Why not do it now? And, and uh, yeah, take advantage of the um, of the cheaper currency right now. And, and uh, we certainly, uh, one of the only places in the country that will, allow, one of the only banks in the country that will allow you to do that. Well, what's so cool is that, and just as you said, you know, for the retail investor, I mean, I guess, you know, the, if you have millions, yeah, you can open an account like this. When you don't, the bottom line is that, you know, it's not available to people, which is just pretty wild. It's really, yeah, and institutional investors, as you suggest, have, have done this uh, for a long time. And, and, of course, corporate FX is the biggest market, the most liquid market there is. And, yes. and, uh, uh, but individual investors usually were, were limited to, you know, doing the spot contracts or, or highly leveraged accounts. Um, and this gives them an opportunity to do it in a, uh, a, a bank account that's not leveraged um, and really is just a pure currency play. No doubt. Now, can I switch gears on you for a second? 
Of course. And, and what I'd like to do is if we can switch gears into the, the precious metals in general. I mean, we, you know, we still get metals running out at, uh, you know, gold's at uh, 1040. We get silver at uh, thir uh, 14, 1385. So if, if folks, you know, can you just talk about the, the couple different accounts that you have, the unallocated metals accounts there, plus you, that you can actually just buy gold, silver, platinum, and palladium? Yeah, the, the metals finally have caught a bid. Boy, yes, uh, gold caught a nice bid. Yeah, yeah, and in the first two weeks, I mean, um, you know, the increased volatility, we, we've seen some safe haven buying. What our accounts allow clients to do is to buy those precious metals with uh, as little as a five thousand dollar investment. Yes, um, and hold it in a uh, cash type of account. Okay, um, very liquid. Um, again, you can buy. Uh, invest a, a dollar amount, partial ounces, and uh, you can also always, if you want to take delivery, convert it to one of your bars to take delivery. How cool is that? And folks, the you can give Everbank a call at 855-750-4051, or you can visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. And you're going to see the variety of not only the different currencies that you can just, and the currencies that you open up, it's just like a regular bank account, folks, okay? The bottom line is, though, you have um, basically either a hedge that, you know, you think that those currencies are going to go higher because they've got killed so dramatically, um, or you have a student that's going to school in Europe, in South America, in Asia, uh, all of the above. And of course, then if you want some insurance policy, and we're talking about whether it's gold bars, silver bars, or those unallocated accounts, it's a very inexpensive way that you're not trading in and out, um, you know, because the bottom line is that uh, the currency markets uh, are not for the meek, that's for sure. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, totally. Well, listen, Chris, it's always a pleasure. You know, uh, Happy New Year. We're going to make it a great one out here. And needless to say, uh, we know that the volatility is out there. And it's, it's nice to know that, um, you know, you can open these uh, investment accounts, uh, the currency accounts, and in, in the uh, FDI seed insured. It's, it's, a, it's a huge deal, man, because Absolutely. I think, you know, yeah, people just want to make sure that their money's safe. And, they, they, you know, you can take less risk, and, but, but you're going to get something back, right? Right, and, and, and finally, just a reminder that we still have that yield pledge on our U.S. dollar accounts, too. So even if you want to stick with the dollars, um, we're a great place to park U.S. dollars. We have a, a bonus rate and uh, a yield pledge to keep our yields high. Oh, that's awesome, man. Okay, I, that, we, well, I, I will run over the audience with that for sure, man. I, that, I will absolutely. That, that, that's a great deal, man. And, and All right. You just go to TFNN.com, folks, uh, slash... Uh, go to everbank.com slash TFNN. You have a great day. Have a safe day. And, of course, look forward to having you back on, Chris. Happy New Year. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back, uh, and we talk about a bounce. You get a bounce and a half out here, folks. Uh, the Dow's up 81. The NASDAQ is up uh, two and a half. Uh, the NASDAQ's up seven and a half. No, NASDAQ's up two and a half, and the S&Ps are up seven and a half. We're going to be right back, folks.